cherry farm in uh, in central Portugal on this uh, overcast drizzly day and um, yeah we are uh, yeah we're on our first week of our of our early cherry harvest it's going quite well last week I said that it was um, that it was not going too well but things have turned around we've had um, had a bit of Sun come out the last few days and um, yeah it's ripened these cherries up a treat and um, and yeah they're um, they're now at optimum time for picking so it looks like we're going to um we're going to get a fair a fair harvest not not a great harvest but not a dreadful harvest like last year so um so a fair harvest if the uh if the weather stays on our side so yeah it's um it's turning out to not be not be too bad of a harvest but um but yeah these are just the early ones um next we'll uh, we'll move over into the uh, into the main cherry orchard i looked at those last night and they're they're no longer green anymore there's still some green ones in there but um now they're starting to turn like a like a more sort of yellowy sort of color which is which is obviously just before just before they turn red and and are ready to or, or nearing to be ready to pick so um so yeah so i guess next week we'll uh, we'll be up in the main orchard um it's a lot less ladder work in there uh, the trees are shorter these these big trees by the house here they um they require a lot more ladder work but um but yeah yeah so it's quicker to pick the trees in there but but yeah should be good we'll see <laughs> So we are um, we are small, small time cherry producers. We uh, we have one really nice size orchard, and um, and then these few large trees near the farmhouse here. But um, but all of my neighbours around the area, they are they are they are mass monoculture cherry cherry farms. But um, yeah, we do uh, we do small time, organic. Um, yeah, we we're very. Um, very susceptible to uh, to pests and weather and things like that, especially being being organic. We produce on a good year approximately three to five ton of uh, of cherries. But um, obviously, not every year is a good year. To be honest, most years are not good years. So uh, so we we generally produce on average about three ton of cherry. Uh, yeah. So all of these uh, all of these big beautiful early cherries are going to. Uh, gonna get transported uh, this evening every night they get transported down to uh, down to different different fruit wholesalers down to Lisbon Porto Faro I guess all of the uh, all of the different cities in uh, in Portugal and um, and yeah mo mostly I, I believe most of these cherries they stay in Portugal I don't think I don't think many go across to Spain or anything like that I think most of them stay in Portugal um, Fundal cherries have got I've got quite a name in, in Portugal, so they um, so they tend to to fetch quite a quite a nice high price um, down in down in Lisbon and yeah Porto and places like that and and yeah so I guess um, I guess they'll be transported across this evening and um, and yeah I guess they'll be in the uh, in the greengrocers by uh, by tomorrow but yeah. Okay, so uh, so I filled up. Uh, Put up one bucket here on this tree. Got another one hanging just there, ready for uh, ready to be filled up in a minute. And uh, yeah, 
I'm gonna go take these ones, uh, take these ones to mum, and uh, and she can weigh them and, uh, and make sure that I've I've picked a good enough quality and <laughs> toss out any uh, any any rotters or anything like that, any any cherries that have got split or or pecked by the birds, and um, yeah, maybe they'll go to make cherry wine, maybe they'll uh, maybe they'll go to feed the uh, the chickens, or or if we can get some pigs in the next few days, maybe they'll go to uh, to feed the pigs. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> another bucket. All right, Mum. <laughs> oh, my God. There we go. Nice and gently. It won't bruise the cherries. Oh, there we go. Okie dokie. Rightio, Mum. How, uh, how much have we done so far, then? Uh, this is box number 89. 89, so yeah. we're probably going to aim to do about 100, 150 boxes today. Each box is 2 kilos, so that's, what was it? 89. 89. Number 89, so that's 100 and... 178, 108, 178 yeah. kilos picked today so far. Yeah. Still early, it's still about what? 12 o'clock? Yes. 1 o'clock? Yeah, yeah, Something lunchtime. Like that. About lunchtime, lunch. so we'll stop for a cup of tea and stuff um, in, a, in a few seconds and then, uh, and then hopefully maybe even match what we've picked this afternoon. Yeah, we should do. Yeah, 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 yeah. the sun's come out. We have, picked the, um, we have picked the easier cherries now though, so, um, so this afternoon it will be harder to pick, you know, it's going to be more choosy and more ladder work, so maybe a bit less, maybe we get, uh, how much did we say, 178 kilos this morning? Yeah. 178 kilos? Yeah, 178 kilos. So maybe um, maybe we just get 100 kilos this afternoon yeah. or something, but but yeah, fair few cherries. <laughs> my uh, my thumb is sore from picking all the, uh, from picking all the stalks, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that's the uh, that's the morning cherry picking done. We're all hot, we're all tired, we've stopped for a break, and uh, yeah, everyone's gone upstairs. They've got a nice cold drink or a cup of tea or something like that. And uh, and I'm out here. I've got the uh, I've got the ingredients ready. We're on the barbecue today, and we're going to do some some nice pasture raised duroc neck bones here. These are from uh, these are from my my good friend up in the village. He's got he's got these uh, red haired pigs durocs, and they're pasture raised, and uh, they live their life out on grass. They're happy pigs and uh, they produce this awesome almost it, it it looks like beef it's it's so red it's beautiful it's it's incomparable to uh, to supermarket supermarket meat and um, we're going to do them in a uh, in a cherry pan sauce on the barbecue so we'll see how that goes uh, i managed to i managed to pinch a few of the cherries while mum was weighing uh, what else have we got we've got some fennel from the garden here we've got some nice rolls from the bakery some honey from my good friend adam we're uh, yeah we're gonna make a, a cherry, a sweet cherry relish with that as well. So, yeah, let's go. So I've marinated the duroc. It's uh, it's got a, a few different herbs and and spices on there. It's got some paprika. It's got some uh, some oregano, some thyme, a little bit of olive oil, and uh, and of course salt and pepper. And uh, yeah, that's now gonna go into the hot skillet. And uh, yeah, we'll give that a few minutes and see how it goes. <laughs> Thank you. 
lunch. Okay, so the lunch is all cooked. We've got the uh, the uh, the the Duroc neck bones here. Mm. We've got the rolls. We've got some cherry relish. You're not having any cherry relish, Mum? I was just yeah. <laughs> mm, I was just looking at that. There we go. Okay, I'm tucking in here, and um, it's jolly nice, but I have got red hands from uh, from pitting all the cherries. <laughs> How is it, Mum? Is it good? Delicious. Is it? Good. Radio. Me and Lloyd are off out to Fundale. We've got to go to one of the agricultural shops and uh, and pick up some uh, some cherry boxes. We've uh, we've run out of the bigger size five kilo boxes. So uh, so yeah, we're gonna go and uh, pick some of those up. Okay, we're at the agricultural shop. Now we're gonna go pick some uh, pick some five kilo boxes up. There we go, they've got a few boxes here. Which one should we go for? I quite like the black ones. Yeah, black ones look better. Yeah, let's get let's get a white five kilo ones then. Black two kilo ones and white five kilo ones. Let's get what? Ten? Yeah. Ten of the five kilo boxes. And I'm not sure how many we can fit in the car of the two kilo boxes, so maybe just like twenty? Think so. Yeah, we'll fit them on the back seats, won't we? Okay, we've got our boxes here. <laughs> Don't you drop them, Lloyd. <laughs> Don't you drop them. There we go, that's a balancing act, isn't it? <laughs> so what we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 22 kilo boxes and 10, 10 5 kilo boxes. That's about all we can fit in our car, isn't it? <laughs> On the ear. On the ear. On the ear. Hey, yo, I speak English. <laughs> yes? We speak English. Yeah. Oh, my friend. How are you? Come and start. To the bay. To, to the, the bay. bay. See, see. Yes. Muito bem. Muito bem. <laughs> Obrigado. Obrigado. Obrigado, eu. É tudo? É tudo, é. Acho que é 20 caixas de 2 quilos. 20, 20, não é? Yeah, 20 caixas de 2 quilos e 10 caixas de 5 quilos. So here's all the uh, here's all the type of boxes you can get here. You can get them all with different um, different different words and things on the side. I like this one. I like that. I think it looks a little bit a little more gourmet. The cherries stand out better in the black. It's the best design, isn't it? Yeah. Unzi Watentanov. Talvez eu tenha moedas. Muito obrigado. Obrigado. Até logo. Até logo. Bom dia. Here comes the hard bit. The hard bit, yeah. <laughs> we, we can come back if you need to. No, no. no. <laughs> oh, dear. Got it? Yep. Obrigado, till long. So, yeah, Lloyd, how much do you reckon you can fit in your car? Probably about half as much as we want. Yeah. We are fortunate. It has a massive boot. <laughs> we'll have to we'll have to crush the boxes down to get them in. <laughs> Cheers, Lloyd. <laughs> Not helping much. I had me uh, had me camera in me. Hands. I really. Think I need more than help to fit all of these in. Here. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think we're gonna have to stand on the boxes, crush them down, flat, <laughs> flat flatten them a bit. <laughs> Got it. Like you've done this before, Lloyd. <laughs> no, not, not so much in this car. <laughs> oh, I should probably explain, shouldn't I? This is this is not our car. This is a um, this is a rental car. Our um, our van is in the uh, is in the uh, the garage at the moment. So um, so yeah, so we've been given this as a uh, a replacement agricultural vehicle. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, it's a gorgeous morning here, and um, there's the geese. <laughs> and uh, me and Mariana have just brought all of the uh, all of the little uh, little pallets down, and uh, we're moving them moving them into their into their grow out pen. Okay, here they are, going into their little grow out pen. Right in they go, Mariana. There we go. Whoop. You need a go, go. No. I've got one. Whoop. No for you. <laughs> There's one. In you go. This is their first time outdoors. Yeah. Whoop. Can't get it one-handed. Where do we go? Come on. So what have we got here? We've got some naked necks. What have we got? Some naked necks, some Cornish crosses. Uh, and yeah, some other hybrids, I think. How many... Um, how many birds are there in here? Uh, 17, I think. 17 birds going in here. Yeah. Come on, go drink your water. There we go. <laughs> their first time outdoors is a little bit of a sensory overload for them, I think. Ah, oh, bless their hearts. Look at that. <laughs> there they go. Into their new pen. You got it? Yeah, I got it. There we go. Lovely job. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's their uh, their first time outdoors. So they're uh, <laughs> they're a little bit, you know, <laughs> sensory overload at the minute. They're uh, they're discovering all the new sights and sounds of being out on the farm, and and of course seeing all the other chickens, the big chickens, for the first time. So yeah, a bit scary for them. Bless them. <laughs> It's a gorgeous morning. We're uh, we're going up to the sheep barn, and we're going to uh, try and uh, drive the uh, the mums and the lambs down into a uh, into a new pasture. So uh, wish us luck. I'm not sure how that's going to go. It's the first time they've ever been out on the road. <laughs> One little lamb here and we're trying to get her out the gate she's refusing to go out the gateway i think she's a bit scared she's only ever known this meadow and she's a bit confused why her mum's left her come on rosemary let's go maybe maybe nope. the mums can hear can hear little rosemary crying because she's She's been split up from her mum. The mums are all down on the road here, and her, and her two brothers, uh, Mickey and Simba. They're on the, uh, they're on the road, all waiting for her. They're refusing to leave. Bless their hearts. But yeah, Rosemary is uh, is proven to be a, a little blighter, and she's not she's not following. She's not coming. I've got Mum and Lloyd down there now, trying to uh, trying to coax her up here, and I'm trying to call her because uh, they are bucket trains, so she might she might come, but. I think she's just a little bit too scared at the minute. She's not used to this. Bless her heart. Sounds like perhaps Lloyd's got her. <laughs> right, let's go bring her in. You got her, Lloyd? Yeah, well done. Muitas cerejas, olha para isto, olha. Wow. É um bom ano de cerejas, é mal? Mais ou menos, mais ou menos. Até logo. Muito água, é. Até logo, Paulo, até logo. So that's Paolo, our neighbor. He's a, he's a commercial cherry producer and he um, he gets so many cherries, so many. He said that he's uh, it's not a, not a good year this year. Um, he said too much rain, I think. Um, same problem as us being neighbors, I guess. But yeah, not too many cherries, unfortunately. Bon dia. Bon dia.
was just chatting with my neighbours there. They're all uh, all picking the cherries, and um, yeah, they 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 like the sheep. They said, "What's the breed? Is it an English breed?" <laughs> These ones are uh, they're a cross. They're they're half French and half English. They're Ile de France cross uh, Suffolk. So yeah, <laughs> looks like we managed to get them in successfully. Dad and Dad and Mariana, they were they were standing down here, and they were just showing the sheep go through this gateway here <laughs> and i can't hear any screaming so i'm sure they must have gone straight in lovely So I thought I would uh, show you the uh, the chickens, and um, we have got some muscovy ducks, and they are cracking little ducks. And look at this. We've got a little mummy muscovy duck. Hey, how's it going, darling? What are you doing in there? Look at that. Oh, sorry, sorry. Showing us your eggs. Okay, I think I'll leave her to it. She doesn't she doesn't want to be disturbed, but bless her heart. She's sitting on, I don't know, it looks like maybe maybe you got a better view than me, I'm not sure, but it looks like maybe about seven seven to ten eggs, something like that. So so maybe some little ducklings in the uh in the not too not too distant future. She's only just started sitting. She's uh she's had the, the cluster of uh, the clutch of eggs there for a few days now. But um but yeah, she's just started sitting, so she'll lay an egg a day or an egg every other day, and uh, and then when she feels she's got enough now she uh she decides to sit and uh and yeah she's um i don't know sorry <laughs> i don't know if you saw you probably saw um where the eggs were there she's got hay and straw in there but she's um she's collected some feathers around some of them are hers she would have pulled her own feathers out and uh and found some feathers on the ground and things and uh put the put the eggs directly on top of a little a little ball of feathers and then straw and hay round it so um so she's uh She's a first time mum. She's uh, she's not too old. She's, uh, I don't know, about 15, 20 weeks old, something like that. So she's just started laying. And uh, this is her first spring. And now she's uh, now she's going to uh, gonna be a little mum, bless her heart, yeah. <laughs> Good for her. Okay, so the uh, the chickens are all out. They're all, they're all fed. They're, they're in their pen at the moment. They're not, they're not out on the pasture because, uh, because of all of the, uh, all of the ladders and the picking of the cherries. We just uh, we just don't want to risk any uh, any slips or tumbles or anything like that. Hey girls, what are you doing? <laughs> hey. So yeah, so the sheep are in here for the day now, and uh, and yeah, now we're uh, we're just gonna have a little look at the look at the veg patch, give it a little a little morning water, and, uh, and yeah, take some of take some of those bottles off of them tomatoes because they're they're starting to poke their shoots through the. Uh, through the top of those bottles now so I think it's um probably a good time to good time to, to get them out. Yeah so the, the veg patch is all looking nice. I've took these uh these bottles off here there's still a few of the uh of the stragglers but they're they're just about coming out of the top now so so I think we'll uh we'll take those off. So all of these, uh, all of these tomatoes that my neighbour gave me seem to be doing really well, and I put it down to this this method that she that she showed of using these bottles. They've uh, they've really grown nicely, and that's that's definitely a, a method I'm going to be using in the future. I really like that. Lovely.
so yeah everything seems to be growing really really nicely in uh, in this year's veg patch uh like i said uh, in a previous episode unfortunately we didn't have enough enough compost to do uh, to do a no dig veg patch but um but yeah now with uh, with all the sheep and the rabbits and the chickens i'm sure I'm sure next year we'll uh, we'll we'll uh, attempt doing that anyway. But yeah, <laughs> the uh, the cabbages are all growing fantastic. The tomatoes really really nice. We've just had um, the sunflowers. The sunflowers are now popping their heads up. They're all uh, they're all growing nicely. And yeah, I think um, I think it's going to be a good year for uh, for veg. We're going to have uh, a lot of different cabbages and lettuce. We've got three different varieties of uh, of cabbage here, and um, and yeah, you probably would have saw us buying those in last week's episode. And uh, yeah, we've uh, we've we've planted quite a lot, and we're hoping that that we can get quite a lot of um, a lot of food for our pigs and ourselves as well. I guess, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we're off down to the uh, down to the little the. The temporary pasture where the uh, where the chickens are. We've all got our got our walking sticks. Yeah, we're going to see how uh, how eager these these girls and boys are to uh, <laughs> to get up to their up to their barn. Come on, Polly. Come on. Come on, Polly. Come on. Here we've got Polly with her son Mickey, <laughs> Mariana and Mitzi. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm super pleased. I must have said it earlier in the video, but I'm super. Hello, Mitz. I'm super pleased that uh, that Mickey and Simba, they're going to uh, they're, they're going to a new home. They're going to have a forever home as little pet lawnmowers. And uh, what's even better, they're uh, they're going together. I couldn't uh, I couldn't imagine that. I'm, I'm so pleased for the first couple of little little ram lambs. That's uh, that's uh, that's a result and a half for them and for me. I'm really pleased about that. So Dad's got himself a bucket of the uh, of the of the. Uh, the unsellable cherries, a few that are that are weather damaged and whatnot, bird pecked and stuff. And we've got a uh, got a little convoy here. All the sheep are coming. Come on, girls. Come on. <laughs> They're gonna follow us up to the barn. That's the plan, anyway. We'll see. <laughs> Come, Mitz. Come on, girls. Let's go. Come on. So that seems to be going well. <laughs> I'm standing here, Polly's right in front of me. All the lambs have legged it up the road. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, seems like it's going to be an easy evening, which I'm glad about because I'm, uh, I'm ready to go to bed, to be honest. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, we'll get these guys in, shut the chickens and the geese up, and then, uh, and then, yeah. An early night. Right, yeah. That's the sheep up. They uh, fortunately they followed the uh, followed the road nicely, and they knew exactly where they were going. So that was uh, that was more luck than judgment, I'm sure. But um, but yeah. Okay, so uh, so dad's dad's put all the all the little lambs in the lambing pen, and the uh, the mums are in the main part of the barn now. The lambs are in the lambing pen, and uh, and yeah, that was uh, that was a job and a half, wasn't it, dad? <laughs> he's not saying nothing he's not saying nothing i think um 
<laughs> I don't think he's going to the gym tonight. Let's put it that way. <laughs> well, the good thing is they're right next to each other. So yeah, they they can see each other through the picket fence. It's yeah. just um, you know we need to need to wean. It's the same as all animals need to wean the babies off of the mum's milk. Um, they need to learn that they need to eat grass um, before they go to their new home. They're not going to be very good lawnmowers if they're not eating grass. So um, so yeah, get them weaned off and um, yeah, then next week or the week after. They're going to go as uh, as pet lawn mowers, so I'm, I'm super, super thrilled that they're going to a new home. And the best thing about it is they're going together. They're going to a, a, a fantastic place. My, my friend Colin, he has a nice farm. Uh, it's not too far away, it's only a few miles away. And uh, yeah, they're going to live out their days trimming his lawn for him, so, so I'm super happy about that. <laughs> Come here. Hey, good girl. <laughs> okay. It's been uh, another week of cherry picking. That's over now. We're uh, hey, we're uh, we're approaching the uh, the sort of the uh, the mid section of cherries now. So we're going to be next next week. I'm sure we'll be in the uh, in the main orchard picking away. And uh, yeah, we've got some uh, some ducks sitting on nests. Uh, I've got a goose sitting on a nest, but uh, haven't got a male, so I won't get any goslings out of that. <laughs> The pigsty is now all repaired, and and uh, and yeah, and uh, I'm expecting we'll probably get pigs sometime, like uh, in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, it's uh, it's getting warm now. Now we're ending uh, ending spring. It's getting uh, I don't know. It's getting sort of low low to mid twenties now, and uh, and yeah, <laughs> finally cherry season seems to be uh, seems to be picking up. We're uh, Hey, we're getting a few um, we're getting a few kilos of cherries out of it now. Yeah. For this afternoon, I'm going to relax and uh, I think have a glass of wine by the pool or something. <laughs> We've picked enough for today. <laughs> we're all tired. We all fancy a rest. Thanks for watching. Get up. Get up.